Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Let's Talk About Cigars. My name is The Cigars. Today we're going to try something new with the episode, so uh, let's light one up. In the comments and on Instagram I got a lot of reactions of people asking me to do videos uh, not only by uh, about cigars or the accessories, but also more a little bit in depth of the cigars, like how do you light them, um, uh, how to smoke a cigar, uh, well, well, topics like that. And I was thinking about it, and I had one in mind uh, to start with, and it will be this video, and it will be about the cigar bands, the history, and um, yeah, what is going on with the cigar bands right now. So for a lot of you people. Uh, you probably think that uh, cigar bands are only to show off on Instagram what you are actually smoking. Surprise, it isn't. There is actually a very, very nice history uh, behind the cigar bands, what a lot of people don't know, and that's what I'm going to tell you right now. So, as far as my, we, we all know, the cigar bands started around 1890. Um, back in those days, a lot of the people that were smoking cigars, the proper cigars, were more the gentlemen, royal people. Um, not the normal people and a lot of those people were white gloves and cigar bands actually started because a lot of those people were getting uh, brown stains on their wife's white gloves or on their fingers so they started to make cigar bands so you knew exactly where to hold your cigar and your glove will stay white first world problems yes I know so that's when they started, and they started off with just plain bands, nothing on it, no brand on it, nothing. Uh, after that, they started to put uh, advertisements on the bands. You can't imagine that these days, but back in those days, there was like advertising about restaurants or bars, uh, eventually on, on car manufacturers. Everybody was putting advertisement on cigar bands. And um, not even the brands themselves made, made advertisement on nothing only other companies and after World War II around that period uh, the manufacturers started to put their own logos and brand names on the cigars because well it is of course very smart because now everybody can see what you are smoking it is free commercial free advertisement so that was a very clever move then but back in those days it, it looked like nothing well we had a couple of Dutch companies that made nicer bands, but most of the brands just had their uh, name on it. Nothing special. After that, the logos came on and they started to look more and more beautiful. So, skipping now uh, till, till this day, uh, the cigar bands are, are, are looking incredible. A lot of the companies, especially a lot of the non-Cuban companies, they make like artwork of those bands. Uh, for example, this one. Arturo Fuente, I did a review about this cigar uh, just a, a couple of weeks ago or a week ago or something like that and these, these bands are almost like artwork, they are very very nice looking and uh, also a lot of the non-Cuban uh, brands are making cigar bands that are almost bigger than the cigar itself so back in the old days it was also very very popular to collect cigar bands. A lot of people, at least here in Holland, did that. Um, I think most of uh, us have a grandpa or grandma who has a collection of cigar bands. It was very popular to, to open them up and glue them inside of a book or something like that. That was very popular. Me myself, I'm also collecting the cigar bands that I've smoked. Uh, I'm, I'm not uh, doing too much with it. I have them in a big glass jaw. Uh, I think it's always nice to see, I can look back at what I smoked and it looks good. I like how the cigar bands look, like I said, it's just some form of art or something like that. I, I just, yeah, it fits in a man cave, so uh, that's why I, I have them. Also, don't think a lot of the cigar bands are actually worth money. I think you really have to have very, very special old cigar bands, like the, the first type of cigar bands. Maybe they're worth money, but um, um, well, we sometimes see people who want to sell them the cigar bands and they're absolutely worthless. Sorry. So the trend of, of the cigar bands is very big. Even the Cuban companies now started to, to produce uh, more newer bands with, with, well, they don't feel like plastic or something like that. Well, they're, they're very slick and very good looking. But there is one company above all, and that is Cohiba that puts the most effort in the cigar bands. 
not exactly in how they look uh, like artwork or something like that because it's a very classic look. Uh, the, the look of the cigar bands is almost always the same throughout all the years. It is very simple, it's blue with white dots, some yellow and of course the Cohiba logo. Well, there is something special about the new ones because they now make them here in Holland and uh, because Cohiba is, well, I think most people know the most fake cigars are with a Cuban, uh, Cuban Cohiba band on it um, because of, well, they are, they are expensive cigars and a lot of people when they see cigars and they, they recognize the Cohiba even if you're not a Cuban cigar smoker, everybody recognizes Cohiba and that's why everybody makes fakes of them. So Cohiba is really trying to stop, stop that all and um, they now make some bands with holograms in it, very very fancy. Because, well, the normal classic look, everybody was reproducing it. It was with the, with the white dots and you see a lot of the fakes. Uh, people, uh, you, you can't imagine how bad they look and people still fall for it. But as uh, the companies get better and better at making fakes, Cohiba had to step up the game. So this is what the Cohiba now looks like. You can see the little hologram in the head. And in the top and on the bottom, the gold line is also with holograms. So this is very, very hard to reproduce for the fakers uh, and that's why this is one of the tells you can see if it's a real Cohiba or not. Don't get mistaken, there are some people who are now putting the holograms in, but there are they say, a sort of solid in it, so you can always see the little head inside the head and that's a tell it is a fake hologram. So that's a little bit of the history behind the band. Um, let me know what you think of me doing sort of this sort of videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell me in the comments what you think of it and if I missed anything. And um, see you guys in the next episode. Smoke on.